Welcome back to another detail with Dory. We are doing something super exciting today. Look at my Facebook is being all wonky. Hang on one second. Ah, okay, I got you guys fixed. So today we are getting together with Mark and he is the founder of True Local. I'm so excited to learn all about their products. They're available in Canada and we are gonna learn all about them today. Let me just, oh. Turn off my dishwasher. <laughs> Who's excited? I'm excited. So we're going to talk about Great Canadian Keto Conference today. I don't think there's anybody on my page living under a rock that doesn't know yet what Great Canadian Keto Conference is. But it's in Toronto and it's this August 17th. So I'm going to be there. I'm hosting a kid zone and I wanted to give you guys an opportunity to meet some of the vendors and some of the speakers who are going to be there. So over the next two weeks leading up to the event, we're going to have scheduled lives with tons of different people. Some of the speakers, some of the sponsors. Tomorrow, we're going to meet the Right to Empowerment lady who's sponsoring the Kid Zone with her pencil crayons. So it's going to be a fun, wild couple of weeks on the go. So I am just going to quick shoot Mark a message so that he knows that we are online and we are ready to go. So he should be here any moment. We all know how, how this goes when we're doing live content stuff, timing and whatnot. So let me just let them know that we are up on Instagram. And then hopefully he'll be here in a moment to join me. And I'm, I'm going to say, you know what, we never really... Um, we never really lack for things to chat about while we're waiting, so <laughs> that's the bonus of that. It's Tuesday. Yesterday was the long weekend in Canada, so I'm curious what you guys did. If you spent some time with your family, we went down to the Strathmore Rodeo yesterday with my family, so check out my feed if you want to see riding the rides, checking out the trade show. Hello, Miss Janet. So far, you're the only one on Instagram. We don't see Mark just yet. <laughs> but it shouldn't be too long. We all know time zone stuff too, right? I, I'm the queen of time zones. And we did say 130 Mountain, but I have mixed that up before. <laughs> now, not me. No, I, I have, I have a degree in time zones. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, oh, hang on one second. Oh, oh, oh goodness. Okay, we're back. So he, <laughs> that was Mark trying to voice call me. So all you need to do, Mark, is be watching the live. And as soon as you pop on, I will send you a request. So I'm just going to do a voice message and let him know that. So all you have to do is touch the lit up circle on my Instagram profile page to join the live and then I will send you a join request. See, look how smooth that is. And we're doing this for the first time. You guys know that I do this a lot with people who've never done it before because duh, it's fun and easy with Dory and it's not stressful. <laughs> oh my Josh, I haven't seen you in forever, dude. How are you? Are you are you in hunting season? Are you camping all over the place? Okay, we are in. Let's go live with Mr. Mark. It'll just take a moment for him to join in. And we're going to have so much fun today. I love meeting new people. Hello! <laughs> oh my goodness, your background and my background? Twinning? Like, how big, awesome is that? <laughs> great minds think alike, right? Yes! I'm so excited to meet you. So, yeah, well, you too. Thanks for taking the time. Oh, I'm so excited. So let's start with introduce yourself, and then we're going to get into what you do. Because, dude, I am so excited. <laughs> yeah, well, my name is Mark LaFleur. Um, I'm the CEO and co-founder of True Local, and uh, we do meet online. I love it. So you can order your packs and have them shipped out. So first, let's start with where can people find you? Because I know I'm going to get messages, and people are going to be like, how come I can't get it, Tori? So let's start with where can you deliver right now, currently? 
Yeah, absolutely. So the whole thing started off actually uh, three years ago, which is crazy to think it's already gone. Uh, it's been that fast, but you know, a lot of people were looking to get these types of products, but yes. it was relatively hard. They either had to drive out um, to the butcher shop or drive out to the farm. So we figured why not take this and make it easier online. So that's how the subscription box started. But our whole model is that people should be eating products that are from their province. So everything we have is from the individual provinces, except for our fish, obviously. So yes. it's hard to get uh, <laughs> hard to get local fish all the time. But we operate locally in Ontario, Alberta, and BC. So if you're in Ontario and you go online, you'll have a list of all of our Ontario farms and all of our Ontario suppliers, and you can get products from them. If you're in Alberta, you can get Alberta suppliers, and if you're in BC, you'll get BC suppliers. So it's cool, too, because the different uh, regions have, obviously, different types of products. So yes. you'll see kind of different uh, different trends. Obviously, in BC, they have an amazing selection of seafood. So I know some of the people in Ontario are a little jealous. Oh, right? I mean, I'm in Alberta. We're <laughs> landlocked. There's no... <laughs> it's okay. There's no fresh seafood around me. <laughs> Yeah, well, I can imagine. You know what? Ironically, it was the same thing in Ontario. So we work with these awesome guys. Uh, they're actually called Coddles Catch. And uh, in Ontario, we kind of wanted to decide, you know, seeing as we can't get that much Ontario fish, do we not want to offer it? But uh, we actually went and visited these guys. It's such an amazing operation. And they're the ones who get our Alaskan wild-caught salmon and our Alaskan oh. wild-caught cod. Um, we actually have some Ontario fish now, too. So we've got uh, Ontario per uh, perch, Ontario pickerel. And same thing out in uh, Calgary, we have a similar situation. So they've got uh, they've got some of the West Coast fish out there, too. So it's not necessarily coming out of Calgary, but you guys can get some pretty good wildcat products out in Alberta as well. Okay. And I, I want to talk a little bit about why subscription box. Because yeah, I know... I yeah, so we looked at this and we figured... Um, like I said, people were looking for these types of products, and with what was going on, you know, this started, I guess, back in 2016, uh, subscription boxes were kind of all the rage, so we figured mm -hmm. if we were going to sell something online, people are eating this product on a regular basis, and if they like the product, they're more likely than not going to want to get it more than once, so we figured why not give them the option to go online and subscribe. Nice thing is that since day one, though, you know, there's no, uh, you're not locked into anything, okay. so it's not like you're stuck on some sort of contract. We just made it for convenience that if you wanted to have your orders coming every two weeks, every three weeks, once a month, whatever works best for you, you can set up to do that automatically. But um, if you want to order just one box, you can go online and order just one box. So that's kind of how the whole subscription model came about. Okay. Well, and I won't lie. I was having a nice chat with my fiance about it last night. And I said, you know what I have in the past got these sorts of subscriptions. And what I find for me is it takes the pressure off at the grocery store. So if my meat is being delivered, I just need to pick up, you know, my dairy, my cheese, my fresh vegetables once a week and that's it. So it saves me a lot of stress and hassle at the grocery store and bonus. If you're a meal prepper, meal planner, you already know in advance what's coming to pre-plan your meals for the whole month. You can look at your menu and say, okay, I'm going to set up my plans, I'm going to pre-cook, I'm going to prepare, and you already know what you're going to have that week. Yeah, there's like a ton of benefits for people that like that consistency. You know, we always say if you've got a local farmer, if you've got a local butcher that you've been using, stick with them. They're the best option. But there are a lot of people that want to shop with butchers or farms that are a couple hours away. Yes. So we figured, you know what, if you're used to that consistency, you don't like going to the grocery store, you want the convenience, um, you can have your box delivered. And the nice thing too, um, I know you know this, but the products are individually vacuum sealed oh. and blast frozen. So we have a ton of people that do do meal prep. And now instead of opening up like a club pack or a tray that has like, you know, six or seven chicken breasts, you can actually open up a two packs so that way you can kind of oh. do for you and whoever you're with. So that's something that we actually didn't even think about in the early days, but it's just, you know, people started really liking it. So we rolled with it. Awesome. So let's touch a little bit on the difference in the quality of meat, because we know that there are a lot of options on the market and there's a lot of price range. And I personally get a lot of questions where people say, do, do I need grass fed do i need you know this sort of finish do can i can i do keto with hot dogs you can but let's yeah. talk about levels as you progress and what the quality meat differences make on your table for sure yeah well you know what one of the biggest things we like to say a lot because a lot of people ask us this is we're not doctors and i'm not a nutritionist so the one thing that I realized doing this business was that everything is about choice. And yes. I know it sounds kind of cliche and, uh, or cheesy and cliche, but the reality is that some people want organic, some people want 100% grass-fed, 
Some people won't raise without antibiotics. There's an argument to be made for each and every one of those categories. Okay. okay? So what we like to do is we like to offer it from everybody, and we want to go ahead and say, hey, we do have 100% grass fed. Okay. We're talking grass fed, grass finished, right? So okay. we've got that. We've got organic products. We've got um, pasture raised chicken. Um, we've got whatever you might want, but what we want to do is give people the option to choose because I know some people, especially um, if they're looking for some sort of health benefits, they tend to gravitate towards 100% grass fed, grass finished. But like I said, you know, we want to give people the option. There are some people that really like the AAA products as well. When it comes to quality, uh, the biggest thing that we like to talk about is that just because something is local doesn't mean it's high quality. Okay. Just because something is organic or 100% grass fed doesn't mean it's high quality. Okay. And it's mostly a combination of all those, right? Okay. So we always say that as much transparency as possible is key. If you can get an idea of who the butcher is, then maybe they can tell you who the farmer is. But at least knowing who the butcher or the supplier is really helps. Um, figuring out where the product is coming from. Is it local to your province? Is it coming out? And then making the decision, like, do you want organic? Do you want non-GMO? Do you want something that just tastes really good and you don't care about that type of stuff? Um, from there, you can base your opinion uh, your opinion on, okay, I consider this good quality because it fits with the values I'm looking for. Um, one of the things we like to talk about is it's just the contrast in diets. You know, okay. Obviously, keto is a huge, huge, huge community for us. They love the organic. They love the 100% grass-fed, grass-finished side. But I talk to chefs all the time, and we have a ton of chefs that are just looking for that really extra marble sort of AAA product. So once again, it's all about the choice. Um, and I personally like the grass-fed, grass-finished. I, I genuinely enjoy the taste. I think it does have a different taste, and that's what I lean towards. And I know that's what a lot of the keto people that uh, have been supporting us over the past couple of years have been into as well. Excellent. And honestly, I, I am a huge proponent, proponent of good, better, best. And not every meal, not every option is going to be your best choice. But when we have them available to us, I always recommend people make the best choice available to them within their budget. And there's never any judgment. I mean, as long as you're eating healthy, you're eating meat. We love meat, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, you're talking to the right guy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> meat candy. So, yeah. what line of other products do you guys carry? Like, do you have sausages or smokies or bacon or any of that goodies? Yeah, like we're pushing over 90 different products um, and what? I think that's one of the biggest things that people uh, enjoy or get surprised about is that okay. when you think about meat, if you're not you know, a hardcore chef or a foodie, for the most part, you're probably used to like your steaks, your ground beef, your chicken breast, yeah. um, but we've got everything. We've got beef, chicken, pork, fish, we've got bison, we've got boar, we've got uh, lamb, we've got a lot of different things and, and our argument was that... There's a lot of people out there that are doing the full grocery gamut and a lot of people yes. out there that are doing, um, you know, vegetables, pantries, um, and meat. We figured we just wanted to focus on what we do well. We want to be the ones that can get the best quality meat um, and we want to be the ones that can get as much transparency as possible and kind of give that direct connection. So that's what we're working towards. It's always a work in progress. Um, but we figured that by having a lot of different products, that's a good, it's a good thing for customers that are looking to kind of have that one-stop shop for all the meat. Oh, yes. And let's let's talk a little bit about keto growth in Canada, because when yeah. I started this two years ago, November 2017, I, I hadn't heard the word keto. Well, uh, yeah. six months earlier when I started, but it was so uncommon. People hadn't heard the word. And now I can't go to the grocery store and not overhear people talking about keto. So what I'd love to touch on with you is some of the ways that your company is reaching out to help grow our community. Yeah, honestly, ironically, it's almost like the, the other way around. It's almost like the keto community helped us get started because I'll never forget, it was right after our first year um, and we got this massive wave coming in um, of new customers. So we started trying to drill down and see what was going on and it was a lot of people saying that they were getting on this new keto trend or keto had changed their lives and it was one of those things that you see a lot of food trends and meal trends yes. come around, but these are people talking about doing it for the, like a long time and people just getting started. So to be honest, uh, it was really the keto community that put us on their back and helped us get to where we are now. And now with that being said, you know, it's nice to be able to offer all these different options. Even now when we go and try to source more products, we're very keto conscious about it. So, yes. um, you know, we got to give a big shout out to the keto community. Like without them, we wouldn't be where we are today. And uh, we're going to do as much as we can to kind of cater more things towards the keto population as, uh, as we grow the business. Yay! And part of that is the Great Canadian Keto Conference. 
So let's talk a little bit about what you're doing there because that's how I came across you. And I was like, dude, how do I not know you? Like, how am I not on the short list to be your new best friend? Like, explain this to me. <laughs> you're going to be there. But uh, yeah, Ooh. we're going to be there. It's literally like a giant friend reunion for us. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but it's the first time that there's like a major keto conference. And there's a ton of people there that we uh, that we're actually really close with. You know, we're super excited to see uh, Megan Ramos from IDM. You know, oh. we're really close with Keto in Canada. So Joanna Wilcox, you know, big shout out. Can't wait to see you there. Yes. Um, I get know, to I meet her. Kayla Peterson's making an appearance, which is super exciting as well. Uh, you know, so we're going to be going there. We're going to have our booth. I would definitely recommend swinging by. We've got a lot of good things that we've got going on, um, as obviously a special and tons of our customers too. Like we've had a lot of people reach out saying that they're going to be at the conference as well. So for us, we kind of look at these events as just kind of a big, uh, it's kind of like a, not a reunion because a lot of these people we haven't met yet, but when we go there, it's kind of crazy to see all the people that are like, Hey, we've tried your product before or have suggestions or feedback. So really excited to get them all together in one spot. Well, and for Canada, this is a big deal. I, I don't know if you guys know in the States, this is, it's kind of a big deal. It's the first big event that we're having in Canada. I mean, I've seen other meet and greets, small events. This is huge. There's legitimate speakers coming. There's a huge array of different vendors who are going to be there so if you are in Canada take the opportunity to support this event because this is how we will help grow our community and next year it will get bigger and the next year it will get bigger and then events will spread all over the country if we support them and if we participate absolutely like I said like you know whatever we can do to support the keto community we're always down because they supported us and it's been a, a wild three years so we've been able to do it without the keto keto community yes so I don't want to keep you too long because I promised that we wouldn't we wouldn't stay too long but first I want to talk a little bit about where everybody can find you on all of the social medias because we all want to be your new yep. best friend I'm not gonna lie yeah, no, well, uh, we've uh, it's pretty easy to find us. So on uh, pretty much all social media, so Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, um, it's just True Local, so at okay. True Local, T R U L O C A L, and then our website, super easy, it's True Local C A, so T R U L O C A L dot C A. But uh, yeah, definitely, we're gonna have uh, some fun things going on at the, at the conference as well. So make sure that if you can't catch us on social for whatever reason, make sure to come see us at the conference because uh, it'll be pretty fun. Yes, and there's going to be stuff live at the conference, but there's also going to be all kinds of live streams going on where if you're in the States and you still want to participate, I don't know about every booth, but I know at mine, I have a whole array of US only giveaways because most of my people are from the States. So I can't go to an event and not have something for them. So if you guys are just online, you can come hang out, win stuff too. It's okay, you guys, you can cover the U.S. side, we got the Canada side covered. So. Right? Well, and that's it. Like, for so long, it's the other way around. My poor Canadian people. And they're like, what's up, Dory? You're from Canada, too. Like, we're, you got our back or what? And I'm like, yeah, I do. <laughs> but it's harder. It's been a lot harder for me to source out Canadian companies to introduce to my people so for me this is a great opportunity to like step right into the pool of Canadian keto business and what's available when I went to KetoCon 2018 was the first time I ever saw a keto product I did keto for a whole year with never ever seeing a product so it impresses me so much how our community is growing and I just man I just want to help that <laughs> Yeah, honestly, it's been an awesome community, and I think that, same thing like you were saying, there's not a lot of Canadian companies, um, and I think a, a massive testament to everybody who's going to be at the keto event from a vendor perspective, because I know how much hustle goes into these people uh, going to these events and getting that, but I know that, at least from my perspective, looking at it, it's going to be one of the best communities to be a part of, because if you can get in and you can earn their trust and you can get and support them, then they will 100% reciprocate, so, yes. um, you know proud to be a Canadian company and, and we wouldn't been able to do it without the keto community. Oh, we're so glad to have you. We, we are truly a very loving community and, and very supportive and we love meat. So you're bringing the good stuff to the so table. Well. So <laughs> <laughs> it, it's kind of hard to say no to, to the good meat. I'm not going to lie. You know, 
hey, well, you know, we'll try to keep it up as long as possible. So as long as you guys keep supporting us, we'll keep coming out with the goods. Yay! Well, I look forward to meeting you in person and collecting my giant hug. Um, I, I will be the crazy lady running around hugging everyone. I was looking for the person running around, but I don't recognize right away. But I'll be like, that's person hugging people over there. That's Dory. Right. And I used to say, look for the rainbow hair. This year at KetoCon, about a half a dozen rainbow hair ladies showed up. And I felt bad for them because everybody was running up to them from behind and going, oh, my God, Dory, you're not Dory. Dory. <laughs> and walking away. We'll switch over to the hugs. <laughs> right. Well, thank you so much for your time, Mark. It was absolutely amazing to meet you, and I can't wait to hang out in person. Hey, no problem, Dory. Thanks a lot for having me. Can't thank wait to you. meet you face to face. Yes. Have an awesome day. Thanks, doll. You too. Take care. Okay. There we go. Okay. So. Sponsor number one down. Great Canadian Keto Conference. Is everybody excited yet, or is it just me? <laughs> am I am I the only crazy lady bouncing around going, oh my god, I can't wait, I can't wait. I, I won't lie, I was having a chat with somebody today, and I was mentioning, hmm, I wonder if any if any local news crews will pop by Great Canadian Keto Conference. It's kind of a big deal, you know? Keto's becoming a big deal in Canada. And we get to help that. We get to be part of that and we get to grow our community. And here's the best part. As we grow our community, we're helping people. We're helping them improve their health. We're helping them improve their mental health. All of it. It's amazing. There's so many good and amazing things that keto can do and that we can help to build our community. So I encourage you guys to share everywhere that you can and spread the keto love, baby. <laughs> have, have an awesome day and stay tuned. Tomorrow we are meeting Perdita from Right to Empowerment and we're going to talk about how we can bring positive affirmations into our life every day and how important that is for the next generation and how we can help our kids grow up more loved. Have an amazing day, guys. Let's get back our tunes. Let's get back our tunes and then we will dance again. Because that's like the best part of the day, let's be honest. There isn't anything better that I like than dancing a little. And I will see you guys in Toronto. Because I'll be there. Four, three, two, you'll be there. I'll see you guys tomorrow.